This short video will demonstrate the basic procedures in performing your bowel program. For people with a spinal cord injury, bowel movements now require more time, thought, and planning in order to maintain a healthy and active lifestyle. As a person with a spinal cord injury, you usually cannot feel when you have to have a bowel movement. Your ability to stop the passage of stool can be partially or completely lost. So, you will need help having a bowel movement at just the right time. A well-designed bowel management program will help to prevent accidents. It will also help prevent other problems like constipation and impaction. There are important components that make up a successful bowel management program. They are a regular bowel movement at the same time every day, healthy eating habits with plenty of fiber, drinking plenty of water, regular physical activity and exercise. What you eat and drink is absorbed as it goes through your digestive system. Normally, your body stores the waste until you can find a restroom. The anal muscle keeps your rectum closed until you decide to go to the bathroom. A spinal cord injury interferes with this process. Your injury blocks messages sent from your digestive system to your brain about your need to go to the bathroom. As a person with a spinal cord injury, you will need to stimulate your own bowel movement. There are three ways to do this. They are digital stimulation, chemical stimulation, or a combination of both. Before starting a bowel program, you will need to gather supplies. These may include a water-soluble lubricant, wipes, disposable gloves, suppositories, and a place to dispose of the waste. Some people may need additional supplies to complete their bowel program. The digital stimulation process dilates the anal muscle in order to have a bowel movement. This process may be referred to as a dill procedure. When performing a dill procedure, start by washing your hands. Put on a disposable glove and add some lubricant to your fingertip. Now, insert your finger about an inch into the anus. Do not go in further than your first finger joint. Move your finger around in a circular or side-to-side -side motion to relax the muscle. Continue this process for about a minute. Next, gently move your finger to one side and pull your anus apart to allow the stool to pass. Repeat this procedure until no stool is present. The chemical method uses suppositories or chemical stimulants. These are inserted into the rectum. They irritate the rectum to help move the stool down. In some cases, you may need to combine both the digital and chemical processes in order to have a bowel movement. Make sure to clean your skin completely after each bowel program. Completing your program at the same time every day establishes routine and prevents most accidents. If accidents continue, talk with your nurse or doctor to determine the cause. Keys to successful bowel management are eating a healthy diet that is rich in fiber, drinking two to three liters of water daily, and completing your bowel program at the same time every day.